Hi everybody, hope all is well. Today I'll have a look at some photos and drawings of House SA, designed and built uh, by Japanese architect uh, Katsunari Sakamoto between 1995 and 1999. The house stands on a terraced side at a corner halfway up a steep hill in a suburban residential area and uh, is the place where Sakamoto himself has been living since 1999. It is designed as a continuous and articulated space without any columns or partition walls. The plan follows the irregular shape uh, of the site. The spiral circulation and uh, the living space layout were designed only by a combination of lines parallel and perpendicular to the site border, while making a small garden on the southeast retaining wall side. The outline of this uh, continuous and articulated space, uh, spirally connected by stairs, follows the topography of the site. The parking space is incorporated in the house and its entrance is supported by a steel stringer, while the wall on the neighbor's side has doors for storage. To the right of the parking space, we step down into the entrance. Right in front we find a utility room and then we step down again uh, and reach the bathroom, the tatami mat area and storage room, dining room and the kitchen. The kitchen and dining room are located at the innermost part of the lower floor. In addition to the difference in floor level, the wall of the dining room is angled towards the right so that it becomes perpendicular to the front side side uh, border, thus uh, dividing the dining room from the tatami mat area in front. The ground of the north uh, side garden is almost at the same level as the window sill. This, combined with the exposed concrete wall, makes the room feel closer to the earth. Instead, if we go back to the entrance and up a few steps, we walk into the office and the studio area. It's unclear from these images if it's possible to step from the office into the terrace. I guess so, but in any case, uh, it can be accessed by climbing a few steps from the parking space. The veneer shelves articulating the upper floor along the steps were collaboratively made with uh, Teruaki Ohashi in 1973. The interior space was designed to accommodate furniture and collections from all ages and countries that Sakamoto and his wife had come to possess, including the shelves. The interior is unpainted in order to create a mechanism for holding everything. Back in the office, if we keep uh, climbing up, uh, we reach uh, the Japanese-style room at the uppermost part of the house. This small space feels uh, both very open, thanks to the big window and the absence of walls, and at the same time closed, uh, having no circulation around it. The partition-like box on the left is a bathroom. The front and back sides are in polycarbonate board and are illuminated uh, from the interior. The intricate shape of the ceiling derives from the optimum arrangement of solar panels on the roof surface, south facing and angled about 30 degrees. This large spatial volume is heated uh, through a passive hot air solar system. Located on a corner site at the midpoint of a terraced uh, residential area, the exterior appearance of the building widely changes its look depending on the perspective. The elevations have three layers, cement extrusion molded panels and uh, FRP grading fence for the lower layer, aluminium spandrel and ready-made aluminium sashes with uh, different proportions for the upper layer, and uh, south-facing solar panels and fluororesin coated steel plates for the roof. Each layer is then misaligned and uh, stacked together. An existing uh, fragrant olive tree in the lower level pushed Sakamoto to grant uh, further room for dynamism and disruption of regular forms through cutouts in the fence and retaining wall. The house was published by Lixil in a beautiful book uh, titled The World of Architect uh, Katsunari Sakamoto. Lixil is a Japanese corporation that makes uh, water and housing products, but also happens to invest in culture through a museum, a gallery and a publishing house.
Take a look at Sakamoto's monograph at your local bookstore. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it was interesting and I will see you in the next one. Bye.